Hi guys! Today I decided I'm going to do a book review because I haven't done one yet for Bookish Brits and the book I want to talk about is just incredible. I've been screaming about it to anyone who will listen and now I'm going to talk to you guys about it. The book in question is The Game of Love and Death by Martha Brockenbrow. It was released in the UK on April the 2nd, published by Scholastic, and in the US it isn't out until April 28th, but you guys haven't got much longer to wait now. Um, the premise is that love and death pick their players and they set the board and see what happens. All the way through the ages, Antony and Cleopatra, Helen and Paris, Romeo and Juliet, and now, in 1937 Seattle, it is Henry and Flora's turn. Henry is a middle-class white boy who is an incredible musician, has a scholarship to university, and has his entire life mapped out for him. Um, Flora is an African-American black girl who is an amazing jazz singer, and is the most talented pilot and aeroplane mechanic that America has ever seen, not that they're paying much attention to her because she's black. And the book is incredible. It is a completely immersive experience. I haven't felt so strongly in a book before. I, I've i never encountered that, where I felt so viscerally angry at the injustice of police officers being awful to Flora, and the butterflies that Henry feels when he starts talking to her for the first time. Henry and Flora are such an incredible couple. They have gone down as one of my favourite fictional couples, because they're so much more than just a romance. They are incredible people in their own right, and the added uncertainty of love and death manipulating the situation and turning everything against them, it really ups the stakes and makes this an incredible fast-paced and tense read. I normally have a very good idea going into a book of what's going to happen at the end. I genuinely had no clue how this was going to end. I was on tender hooks. I didn't see how it could possibly end and I wouldn't be wrecked. I was wrecked. I was sobbing by the end, but in a good way. Um, it's stunning. I, yeah, Flora and Henry are amazing. They are such a wonderful pair. Their senses of selves with each other, the ease and the banter, the magnetic attraction, and the feeling that the world was slipping away and falling out from under them, and that all they had to cling to was each other. The secondary characters are also incredible. There's such a diverse selection of characters, and it really fleshed the world out and made it something fantastic. The book is desperately sad, it's full of joy, passion and anger. It is a novel teeming with life and emotion, courage and the possibilities of life. It is an incredible book. If you read only one book this year, make it this one, because I can't even explain fully how fantastic it is, how much it touched me, how much it meant to me, um, and how much I loved it. Anyone who loved The Night Circus, you're going to love this, because it's a, it, it's a very similar idea in some respects, but it's a completely different novel in others. Um, and the prose is just to die for. Very, very similar to the lyrical prose of Aaron Morgenstern's Night Circus, but it also has a sharpness and a rawness to it that really make it something even more special than that. So. That's my book recommendation, that's why I think you should be reading this book, and if you have read it, I'd love to hear from you, and if you haven't, but you're looking forward to picking it up, let me know in the comments below, and I will see you guys next week.